Welcome back to our lecture number 6 in which we are going to talk about writing an essay with the help of outline. Remember, in the previous lecture we had been talking about different unearthing techniques that were the pre-writing techniques which you can use while creating or while uh, thinking of any topic that you want to write on. Today we are going to quickly discuss that how you can create an outline for the essay. As I said in the, my previous lectures earlier that essay outline uh, or essays can be written best with the help of the outlines. So one of the major techniques of unearthing ideas uh, of uh, or pre-writing techniques that is our invention techniques that is of outline or creating or scratching outline list making or scratching outline will be discussed thoroughly in today's lecture that is your lecture number six. I hope you are going to learn a lot in this lecture and by the end of this lecture you will be able to uh, learn and by the end of this, this lecture you will be able to write a good outline or develop a good outline for your essay. To begin with, let's quickly recap our previous lecture. In the previous lecture, lecture number five, we have thoroughly talked about uh, what is a paragraph. We have thoroughly discussed that how this collection of different sentences lead to one logical progression of one topic and how paragraphs they combine together to give you a longer text, how paragraphs they combine together to give you an essay. Then we have also seen some examples of, uh, a very nice examples of uh, paragraphs that how paragraphs are written what is the topic sentence what are the uh, supporting details and what is the closing sentence and how are you supposed to write that uh, then what makes uh, a good essay uh, that uh, what we that's what we have also discussed in our previous lecture as well we have thoroughly discussed the definition and where the uh, word uh, essay has been derived from and what does that mean uh, so the word was derived from the Latin word Latin verb uh, exire which means to examine to dig out or and you know, root, uh, float down the information for the others. We also discuss some of the do's and don'ts of how to uh, write an essay. Uh, there are a few things that you are specifically and you are particularly supposed to do once you are writing an essay and there are, there are a few things that you are supposed to, you know, omit and you are not supposed to, you know, insert in your essay. Then how to write an essay? Uh, we have also seen the practical demonstration of how to write and how to practically uh, write an essay. We have discussed different steps like uh, essay crafting starts with as we said that essay is not uh, not something that you write. That is something that you craft. So uh, that is the best representation of making or uh, developing the raw material into uh, to giving it some shape and then polishing it and you know putting the colors on. It. Then uh, we have also discussed some essay formats. That one uh, uh, we have also uh, discussed that how uh, there are some formal editing styles or formal uh, styles of making essay um, uh, formal piece of writing. We have also discussed that what and how you are supposed to, uh, uh, what are things that you are supposed to do while making your essay and we have also learned to use the MLA referencing style in our essays and this is how we have learned the whole process of uh, essay writing skills. Now today as we are going to learn that how to create one outline, uh, how to create one pre-writing technique that is outlining, scratching outline for your uh, essay. We are uh, practically going to see that and we are going to you know, try uh, one in the class as well. So I hope you are going to enjoy that. To begin with, we will see the definition of an outline. So what is an outline? Uh, it's a way of organizing key ideas. Now as I say that you are supposed to make an outline for, uh, um, uh, I give you a particular topic and I ask you to make an outline for that. In other words, it means that you are organizing your key ideas on the piece of paper. Now uh, these ideas are organized because they are being uh, presented in the best way. How? That you have given one topic sentence, you have elaborated that very sentence with the supporting arguments and in the end you are giving one uh, closing sentence which is the gisted down information of the your topic announcement. So one paragraph, two paragraph, three paragraph, one idea, two idea, three idea, one 
supporting detail, two supporting detail, three supporting detail. They are three or four or five, as many as they are related to one topic will give you one perfect essay. As in the previous lecture, we were also talking about that essay has got its uh, entry door and essay has got its exit door as well now uh, you enter the world of ideas which are related to one topic each one of them uh, present you uh, the same thought in a different way so this is what uh, we actually mean now if you take an example of a painter now painter has got one topic let's say uh, there is an ag exhibition going on in one uh, big hall uh, there is a big hall and there is an exhibition going on on the paintings of dream on the topic dream now there are different painters or maybe there is one painter who has made different paintings on the same topic dream in different ways now every painting is depicting that very topic in a very different way uh, so but uh, yet they are talking about they are talking about one particular topic now you enter the hall and from that entrance you get to know that this whole exhibition is all about dream now you look at each and every painting and each and every painting is representing dream in different ways once you uh, uh, come across each and every painting you get different ideas and once you are in a position to leave that exhibition from the exit door you uh, take along a lot of ideas that were progressing towards one major idea that was dream so this is how the painter has been successful enough to convey his thoughts of dream to you in different ways because all of his ideas all of his paintings were appealing to you and they had one particular topic about uh, dream then uh, coming back to our today's topic that was that what is an outline an outline helps to set up an essay so that's a setting or that develops a plot for an essay let's say in other words that gives you the key terms the key words that you want to elaborate in your essay that are related to one topic an outline is a tool to help revise an essay so basically an outline is a tool that will help you uh, revise an essay uh, that uh, if you are keeping your uh, outline here and your final draft of your essay here you will get to know that how uh, which points that you have taken uh, from your outline into the essay are relevant and if you have missed out any information from your outline page you will automatically pick up that and make a paragraph of this on your main uh, uh, draft paper your final paper that you are going to present to your teacher or maybe you are writing it for the newspaper so this is how an outline is giving you a kind of a skeleton for or, or a journal plan for uh, writing an essay in uh, detail now uh, it's a journal plan of the material that is to be presented on the paper so you are going to uh, present your outline on the journal uh, or that is going to you know provide you the journal plan for the paper now that outline provides you an order for your essay the sequence for your essay and the organization of your essay that which idea to put where so that's kind of a relationship between each and every idea so outline has to talk about the cohesion and coherence of your essay so that you can get to know that how you are supposed to relate all of your thoughts all of your ideas together in one essay so outline shows the order of the various topics the relative uh, importance of each and the relationship between the various parts now every paragraph in your essay is a kind of uh, special uh, like the way you entered the exhibition every painting of the painter was special so every paragraph in the essay is very special and you are going to see that how one paragraph is being uh, combined with the next one and uh, how the thoughts are combined with each other now that you know that what is an outline let's quickly talk about the different types of outlines that we have and that we can use while writing the essays if you see the slide uh, the first uh, type of outline is a topic outline the headings are given in single words or brief phrases so 
the topic outline is something that provides you with the different topics that are related to the main topic of the uh, essay and the outline is being developed uh, in different kinds of headings and subheadings maybe in the form of uh, words or the brief sentences clauses phrases fragments anything that you want to use for writing the topic outline the other kind of uh, or the other type of outline is your sentence outline where all the headings are expressed in the complete sentences now there are two situations the topic outline is something that carries your heading but the explanation is not provided in the complete sentences however a sentence outline is something that provides you the explanation and the description of the headings in complete sentences so there are words and there can be fragments in uh, outline uh, uh, making an outline of topic however there are complete sentences in your uh, sentence outline now uh, if you see on the slide uh, there are uh, some rules for outlining your paper or outlining your essay or making an outline for your essay either that's going to be the topic outline or that's going to be the sentence outline that's up to you whatsoever technique that suits you and whatsoever technique that you want to you know select for your uh, writing um, any essay but the thumb rule is remember that you are not going to mix up both of them either stick to the uh, sentence outline or stick to the topic outline if you are writing only words and phrases in the uh, topic uh, in the outline then stick to the topic outline if if you are writing the complete sentences along with the headings in your uh, sentence outline then stick to only sentence outline but the thumb rule is that you are not going to mix both of them because that's not going to leave any room and you are going to you know jumble up your thoughts and you are yourself going to get confused with it so stick to one outline that one that one suits you if you are fond of writing the complete sentences and the larger sentences stick to that if you are not fond of uh, writing complete sentences and only providing the words and phrases that you think that you can uh, easily elaborate stick to that also now see on the slide and see that how uh, rule of outlining is uh, subdivide topic by a system of numbers and letters followed by a period now uh, let's see an example as you can very well see your major heading will uh, come on the top that is number one and uh, one written in Roman uh, that is to be followed by A and B uh, A and B are your subheadings and then your A and B are being elaborated in number one and two maybe uh, these are your subheadings and then small A and B are your sub subheadings so this is how you write your outline one idea is being explained and then explained thoroughly in your sub points and your sub sub bullets and this is how you keep on moving uh, uh, this will become your first paragraph or this will create one paragraph for your complete essay so you can very well see that how uh, paragraphs progress and how you can create one outline for your paragraph uh, one topic sentence is to be elaborated uh, through different supporting details so you are going to see that what kind of supporting details you are going to add and how you are going to elaborate them and in the end you are provide you are going to provide the closing uh, sentence for that very paragraph and this paragraph will lead to this smooth transmission to the next paragraph so keep in mind that the heading for the first paragraph has some link or has some uh, connection with the next paragraph so we are also going to check out some examples as to make sure that you clearly understand the uh, link between uh, how to make an outline and how to develop an outline now let's quickly see the who you have seen the rule number one that was to clearly divide your paragraphs into di di and that is to clearly divide your uh, outline into different parts and that's what you have seen in the previous slide as well now mo let's move on to the second one uh, the second one says that each heading and subheading must have at least two parts so your major heading should have uh, the subheadings and subheadings must have at least two parts as to make sure that you are going to provide the um, uh, you know relevant details or relevant supporting arguments or a relevant uh, point of view for that very uh, 
the heading that you want to elaborate then see the third point headings for parts of the paper such as introduction and conclusion should not be used so you are not going to you know insert any headings for uh, the introduction and conclusion while you are writing practically while you are writing an essay as we have also uh, studied in detail in the previous lecture that uh, the introduction and conclusion paragraph are left for the end once you are prepared with the complete outline of your essay and once you have made the draft number one of your essay based on the outline in the end you would write your introduction introduction paragraph and your conclusion paragraph because uh, your introduction and your conclusion are kind of the gist of uh, what uh, world you want to uh, present and what topic you are writing about so uh, whatsoever thoughts are there you can easily write the introduction that in my topic will talk about this is topic remember you are not going to use this my in the topic in your essay or you are not going to write it this way that this essay is going to discuss you are simply going to you know talk about uh, the topic uh, that is to be discussed so you would say that cats are good pets or uh, London is a good place to live or stuff like that now the fourth point says that be consistent what does that mean it means that you are not going to mix up the two types of outlines as I have explained earlier that if you are going to uh, or if you are comfortable with the sentence outline you are going to stick to that and if you are uh, comfortable with the the topic outline just stick to that you are not going to mix both of them because that's really going to create problem for yourself then use either whole sentences of uh, brief phrases but not both so you are either going to use the sentences or you are going to use the brief phrases but you are not going to use both in one outline now let's uh, quickly see some examples of uh, topic outline and then the sentence outline that's going to help you differentiate between and understand that how to do that and how to write that now the topic for uh, writing an outline here is choices in college and after uh, we are first going to scratch the sentence outline that one we are going to see now now that's a very long slide to read but that's really going to be very very helpful once going, we are going to develop our outline or once we are going to prepare our, our outline for the essay now make sure that uh, you are going to you know stick to the topic that uh, we have uh, uh, floated that decisions for college and after before and after the college the decisions I have to make in choosing college courses depend on large, uh, larger questions I am beginning to ask myself about my uh, life's work. So uh, the topic is itself very thought provoking that what would be the choices of the person before and after attending the college. So this is what uh, maybe a student is writing or maybe uh, any uh, person is writing. So uh, these are some of the thoughts that you are supposed to write and let's see how he tries to do that and how what he has to say in his outline now if you see his point number one now remember this is the sentence outline he is writing the complete sentences for everything and the each thought is being you know elaborated in the form of the sentence only now uh, as you can see uh, number one that is written in Roman caps Roman I have two decisions to make with respect to choose college courses in the immediate future now in the first heading he says that I have to uh, two decisions to make that uh, what he has to do uh, after choosing college courses in the immediate future a is one is whether to select a course in art history or in chemistry so number one uh, decision that he's supposed to make is that he either he is going to uh, select a course in art history or in chemistry or B uh, option is the second decision that he's supposed to make is the second decision is whether to continue a third year of French beyond the basic college requirement so there are two decisions that he's supposed to make either he is going to opt for the art history or chemistry or uh, the second decision is he wants to make is to continue a third year of French beyond the 
basic college requirement so uh, the elaboration or the details or the supporting arguments that he provide for his decision number one are uh, that he want to select the course for art history or chemistry is that one time in my life I plan to be a chemical engineer professionally so one reason that he is providing that only once in my life I decided to plan a chemical engineer professionally and on the other hand I enjoyed art in plan to travel and see more of it so he enjoys um, planning uh, uh, he enjoys art and he also you know uh, likes to travel on the first hand he uh, he had that eager desired uh, desire of you know opting for or becoming a uh, chemical engineer uh, once in his life so that was the supporting arguments of why he wanted to or uh, which one he should opt for now let's see which one is strong enough that uh, appeals to his logic now uh, the second one says the second decision is whether to continue with the uh, third year of French beyond the basic college requirement like other than reading the basic college courses uh, whether he should uh, study the French in third year or not now the reasons that he gives for reading the French are French might be useful both for uh, bo uh, useful both in engineering and in travel now he is convincing himself that either he takes uh, uh, chemical engineering uh, as a profession or either he uh, attempts uh, art history as a subject uh, uh, French language is going to help him in both ways furthermore I am either eager to the second point now uh, see the bullets and see the sub bullets the first one was in which he is presenting the major idea that he has to take two decisions in A and B he is simply clarifying that what decisions he is supposed to make and in 1 2 3 or 1 2 he is elaborating that why he should do that so this is how you support your argument he is you know kind of preparing an outline for his essay furthermore now see the second point of point number B furthermore I am eager to read books which are written in French so uh, he is in somewhat interested in uh, uh, French history that 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 appeals to him and he is you know some kind of interested in uh, reading about that material how necessary are these uh, considerations in light of other courses I might take instead so uh, 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 these considerations are they clear enough uh, to convince him that he should opt for the French uh, course or not now that was about the first point that he has made the major heading was deciding the decision about taking the courses in the university whether he has to take uh, um, art history or whether he has to uh, take uh, chemistry or uh, he has to or he also wants a second decision and that he wants to make is uh, of uh, you know opting for French uh, subject uh, in his third year now the second uh, point or the second paragraph that he wants to make is of uh, now that was all about the first paragraph written in the number one Roman and number two Roman talks about the second paragraph that he wants to uh, make or that he wants to write for the decisions uh, before and after college my problem can be put in the form of a dilemma involving larger questions about my whole future now he has got a problem let's see what is it uh, his point number a says on the one hand I want to hold a highly trained positions in money making profession now he wants to now he's uh, he's you know a kind of mentioning the problems that he can have um, uh, in the future like uh, if he looks up in the future and uh, then he decides what kind of a degree he wants to take and what kind of the courses he wants to teach now in the first point supporting his problem is that his problem is that he wants to get into any profession that uh, is a money-making profession and that can be useful useful for him to uh, uh, in the future for the future professions on the other hand I want to lead a certain kind of life which with capacities for values not connected with the uh, making of money now he wants to uh, spend or he wants to live such kind of a life which is not associated with money making and he wants to you know have a smooth uh, going system of uh, 
money making i will have to make a decision balancing the conflicts uh, that is this point heading number 3 now uh, he has to take two decisions then he has got some problems that were based on that he wanted to uh, jump into any profession that is of money making and then secondly um, he has the conflict of you know spending this smooth life that is free of money making issues and all that now his mind is you know Uh, swirling like uh, the wind and he is unable to decide now his third heading it says i will have to make a decision balancing the conflicting needs i have described now uh, based on the first paragraph and the second paragraph he is saying that i have to resolve my conflicts on my own and i have to take the decision i will hold open uh, i will hold open the professional possibilities by selecting chemistry now why is he selecting chemistry uh, Uh, he will give you the reasons too um, he is saying that uh, that is you know kind of professional maybe that is going to help you help him produce good money and also he can you know by making money he can uh, lead a very uh, healthy and uh, good life the argument the point number we b that he says of his heading number 3 is that i will improve and solidify what culture what cultural proficiency in another language i have already gained by electing french so he is going to you know also uh, select the course of french in his third year as to you know improve his cultural proficiency and to read about different or another language uh, that he has already gained by you know uh, by selecting french in his um, uh, career so he has decided about uh, the decisions of before and after college uh, that he has made he had some problems of you know selecting the degree then he decided that uh, i wanted a degree in which through which i uh, can uh, make money and then i can you know polish my career and i can lead a very smooth life in the end he decided that he is going to go for or become a chemical engineer professionally because that's a money making uh, thing and also he is going to opt for uh, or elect for uh, uh, french as a subject in his third year that's going to help you or that's going to help him learn a new language and you know explore his talent uh, channels to the uh, other world also so this is how you develop your outline essay now see the structure of the whole outline um of this uh, sentence outline you see there are complete sentences each sentence has be each sentence is being elaborated with the complete detail of the sub bullets are also being explained in the complete sentences so there is no phrase there is no single word that is being used uh, as a in our that is standing in the isolation so this is what um, uh, your sentence outline looks like in uh, you are you know uh, going to make one on your own once you are going to you know select any topic for your essay now uh, uh, the same topic is also being presented in the topic outline that one we are going to see choices in college and after so uh, let's see how the same person does that in the topic outline the decision i have to make in choosing college courses depending on larger questions i am beginning to ask myself about my life's work so um, now see the format the uh, things are written in uh, um, you know small um, phrases or some words or headings have been used for them but there are no complete sentences for them two decisions described his heading number 1 is as we have seen in the previous slide as well that that was written in the complete uh, sentence so two decisions described art history or chemistry now professional considerations as well as the personal considerations that he is going to see while opting between the art history or chemistry so he will see the professional considerations as well as the personal considerations of that the part b discusses the third year of french which sees the practical advantages of knowing a foreign languages um, since he has got this uh, you know intellect of or uh, this um, thing inside him of you know learning any other language so that he can also read their literature uh, so there are some intellectual advantages that he believes can be there and the issue of necessity is also there so uh, his heading number 2 describes the definition of the problem uh, now that he has got some problem with uh, deciding that either he is supposed to choose chemistry or uh, history 
art history uh, decisions about the occupation and decisions about the kind of the life to lead so uh, he wants to you know get into the profession that's going to help him uh, understand and learn about different uh, let's say uh, money making techniques or money making business so he wants to get into that profession as well as a kind of a life to lead what kind of a life he wants to live so he he or he is supposed to you know uh, decide between two problems of them then there are temporary resolutions of the problem that he he is suggesting to hold open uh, as professional possibility that chemistry that he is not you know uh, damming it up or he is not uh, making the final decision so he is holding it open why because he uh, had this uh, something inside him that he wanted to become a professional chemical engineer or to take advantage of cultural gains already made french so he also wants to learn french as well as he wants to jump into the profession of chemistry that is let open for him so this is what is the pattern of uh, um, topic outline looks like and you can also see on the slide as well that this is very clear uh, now uh, you are there to decide that which uh, outline suits you you have to see that uh, which one you can write better but uh, as i said earlier that you are going to stick to the rule that you are not going to mix uh, two of them because if you are going to mix two of them that's going to create problems for you so i hope that you don't want to put yourself into the trouble uh, either stick to the sentence uh, outline or either stick to the topic outline whatever suits you so uh, that's up to your uh, writing skills that how do you want to go about it and how do you want to do that all right so i hope the topic outline and the sentence outline uh, examples the types of uh, outlines were clear to you now uh, once you are supposed to uh, once you have done that uh, or once you have created your outline you uh, there is a time to compare now uh, you have made an outline and your friend has also made an outline you can what you can do is you can share your outline either that has been made in the form of a sentence outline or that was made in the form of a um, topic outline you can exchange your outline with your partner and take his outline that he has made uh, have 5 minutes discussion in which you take turns explaining what you wrote in your outline so once you are going to you know explain uh, maybe your uh, friend is reading your outline and maybe there is a point that is not clear to him and he asks you what have you written here you try to explain it to him and then you know you see that how well you can write it down in your essay so this is how it gives you a room for developing more thoughts about your outline once you are going to you know exchange it with your friends so how to make uh, and use an essay outline this is what we are going to see an essay outline is probably the most important friend you will have while writing your essay so essay outline is a kind of a friend that you have while writing an essay so uh, this friend is going to be with you once you are writing your essay and once you are creating your essay stick to that outline uh, work on every sentence that is written there in your outline so that you don't have any um, confusion of or you don't miss out any thought that you have written or that you had had in your mind on the piece of paper as i've said earlier it is the skeleton of your idea so um, uh, your outline it provides you the skeleton or the major framework by which you will write a killer essay now you are going to in a process once you are uh, in a process of you know uh, writing an essay and i am trying my level best to make sure that each information that i have uh, with me uh, to share with you so that you know every step of writing material uh, writing an essay so that you can become a good essay writer and frankly it is difficult to write one without an outline so as i have described earlier that uh, from out of all the pre writing techniques of uh, and i think your ideas or the uh, invention techniques uh, outlining uh, or scratching an outline or topic outline or the sentence outline or making an outline for your essay is the best way of creating an essay now uh, this is one uh, sample of how to you know make your uh, writing uh, essay outline uh, use the following model as a guide as you see point number 1 that calls for the introduction maybe your introduction um, 
remember your point number one and your point number six don't carry any heading uh, they are written for your convenience uh, this is your this is your outline that you are supposed to make uh, the outline of the paragraph now uh, your introduction and your conclusion are supposed to be written at the end as we have already described earlier that they are supposed to be kept for the end now your body paragraphs as you can very well see they have got the opening sentence as paragraphs are always written they have got their top topic sentence as well as their supporting details detail 1 detail 2 detail 3 or as many as they can and then there is one uh, closing sentence then your body paragraph number two body paragraph number three and body paragraph number four uh, there is a transition word that is the uh, smooth uh, transfer of one paragraph or one idea from one paragraph to the other so this transition of one idea to the other has something to do with your thoughts now if you recap the previous example of choices in college and after all the ideas in the paragraph paragraphs were connected with another first of all he had to make the decisions he told us about his decisions whether to take the chemistry as a subject or to take art history as a subject then he also discussed his uh, then he also wanted to you know opt for uh, French as a subject or French as a uh, additional subject in his third year uh, course then in the second paragraph he also mentioned the problems that he had had with selecting chemistry or with selecting uh, art history because uh, why because he wanted to get into some kind of a money making profession and he also wanted to lead a smooth uh, easy life then in the third paragraph he had made some tentative decisions about his life in which he uh, told us that what he's going to do and how he's going to go about his life so this is how <clears throat> his ideas were uh, transforming from one paragraph to the other there was a link between all those paragraphs the, uh, he did not talk about them randomly he first discussed first idea then he dis discussed the second one and then he discussed the third one so all of the ideas they were connected and he, there was a logical progression amongst them so there was a transition amongst them this is what you are supposed to keep in mind once you are writing or once you are creating an essay now uh, let's see the next one that how does it do that an outline organizes the major parts of your essay now there is one thesis statement then there are major parts then there are supporting details then there are transitions and then there are concluding thoughts as you have seen the um, sample of outline in the previous slide now let's try to you know explain each one of them one by one now there are major parts of uh, every outline the thesis statement uh, thesis statement can be explained in a way that the sentence that tells your reader uh, your ultimate point and what they should uh, expect so uh, you want to tell the reader that what your ultimate point will be after writing this essay and uh, what should they expect from you that what uh, possible recommendations or what possible feedback you would be coming up with once you are going to you know close your essay the major points the facts that you are using to prove your main point so uh, the facts or the supporting details that are there in your essay you want to you know elaborate them by making them your major points or by making them your major details so this is how you are going to make your essay uh, somewhat uh, you are going to you know make your a point or you are going to prove your point to the audience so that they are not going to get confused with it then there are some supporting details uh, the examples facts or questions maybe your paragraph starts up with a question that you are going to you know, resolve or solve uh, within the paragraph and then uh, uh, sometimes you present them with the facts sometimes you give them examples in the paragraphs that provide or that support your uh uh, actually topic sentence then there are some transitions the statement or information you will use to uh, transition from one major point to the next as uh, we have seen in the uh, examples as well that uh, why he wanted to or what he wanted to do then he also uh, wh what he wanted to select for his future then uh, what were the problems and what was the solution so there was a logical transition and there was a logical progression or there was linkage and there was connection between all those thoughts which were there then concluding your thoughts 
Any thoughts that you would like to include at the uh, close of your paper to wrap things up and tie it all together? So your conclusion is somewhat the summing up of uh, your supporting details, your examples, your topic sentence and everything. Never include new facts or information in your conclusion. So your conclusion is a kind of a gist of whatsoever you have written in your supporting details in your um, that lead to the main topic sentence. Do not include any personal opinion or any new idea in the con closing paragraph because that's going to, you know, take the attention of the reader somewhere else. So that's going to, you know, uh, divert the attention of the reader. So do not do that. Stick to whatsoever you have written in your body. That is your supporting details. So that is going to, you know, make a, a room for exit, a better room for exit for the reader. Now there are some reasons that why you should write uh, why you should write an outline. First reason is that it will help you organize all of the ideas running around your brain. So whatsoever you have in your mind, like the way you brainstorm, uh, you will collect all the information on the piece of paper, and your brain would be very easy once uh, you have an outline with you. So you can you know simply look at the outline, and then you can easily write down your paper, uh, not worrying about that I am going to miss up that information that was there in my brain so that uh, you are you know not going to worry about that now second point to take care of is um uh, that uh, why should you or what is the advantage of writing an outline that it will allow you to find any gaps in your research or any ideas early enough to fix them uh, so uh, you are going to you know see that if there are going to be any gaps between the thoughts uh, connection or if there are any loopholes uh, any extra information that was missing so outline is going to help you see or uh, visit all those uh, problems uh, in some way now next point is that it will make writing you essay less stressful because you will know what you have to work with. So knowing uh, something that is there with you in the form of the outline is going to help you develop a perfect essay because looking at each and everything that is written there uh, in the outline you can you only have to you know elaborate that on your actual draft. So this is how uh, outline is very helpful. Another reason that why you should practice outline or why you should, you should uh, write an outline is that the professors are often willing to look over an outline for you to make sure that you are on the right track. So uh, I will also suggest to, uh, for you to make outlines and show them to your um, teachers before uh, you are actually you know, asked for uh, writing about any research work, any essay, any article, any paragraph or anything to write on. So make an outline that, sir, this is my outline that I am going to follow for uh, so and so research paper, for so and so project, for so and so essay. So please check that so that I can progress further. So this is going to help you as I said that sharing your outline with your peer, with your friend is going to help you uh, find out those loopholes, those questions which you were, forget you were forgetting but your friends remember. So the third party evaluation is very important and you are going to make sure that you are going to make an outline before actually starting or writing an essay. So let's summarize what we have learned today. We have talked about an outline, uh, that what is an outline? That is a skeleton of your thoughts or a skeleton for or a framework for your essay. So um, you are, we have talked about the sentence outline and the topic outline. Sentence outline is the one which carries the complete sentences in it. The proper pattern was shown to you. The proper format of outline was shown to you. The only thing that you are supposed to do is to insert either uh, topics like in the form of words or phrases maybe small fragments or if you are if you have selected the mode of uh, sentence outline you are supposed to you know insert the complete full-fledged sentences in them then the purpose for using an outline you are supposed to you know elaborate the purpose for that to help organize keywords in writing an essay or the research paper so uh, we have also uh, talked about the purposes of using an outline um, so uh, the first one said that uh, it helps to organize our key ideas secondly it helps to summarize the key ideas in reading 
and the third one it helps to uh, help you to develop your subtopics and you know elaborate your details and supporting arguments and then your conclusion and your introduction and everything so that was all about today we have talked about the outline in detail i hope that you are going to solve some exercises by picking up some topics uh, we will have our first assignment after our completion of seven lectures so today was our sixth lecture that is completing here uh, i hope you have learned a lot about how uh, we are supposed to write or you have learned about the essay writing skills you have learned about different uh, writing styles the formal and informal and you have now uh, learned that how to develop one essay outline for yourself in the next lecture we will thoroughly discuss the essay types and then uh, definitely we are going to discuss each essay type one by one and then we are going to have definitely our practice sessions where your quizzes will be taken and your assignments will be taken so that was all about the theory i hope to see you in the next lecture tomorrow again so by then um, allow face and take very good care of yourself thank you